Today's video is made possible by Squarespace, the quickest and easiest way to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 20% off, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code TLD9. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD with an unboxing of not one, not two, but all three models of the brand new iPhone 5S. So I'll be taking a closer look at silver, space gray, and the extremely hard to find gold model. And if you were actually able to get your hands on one of those, let me know with a comment down below. So obviously the main purpose of this video is to compare the colors, let you know the pros and cons of each, but I also wanna talk about what is new on the iPhone 5S and ultimately what are my first impressions after a day of using it. Now, of course, the content within the box is gonna be the same, so I'm not gonna go through each box individually, but what you do get with your brand new iPhone 5S is the literature, which includes the always awesome Apple stickers. Followed by that, you get a set of Apple ear pods, which actually sound pretty good for a set of stock headphones. If you happen to miss my review last year, I will have that linked down below. You then get the USB wall charger, nothing we haven't seen before. And last but not least, the USB to lightning connector. Now, in terms of what is new with the iPhone 5S, because I know aside from the new colors, physically, it looks exactly the same as the iPhone 5, but there actually are some cool changes. And one of those is the Touch ID fingerprint sensor, which I actually posted a walkthrough earlier. If you happen to miss that, I will also have that link down below. But essentially what it does is allows you to unlock your phone or verify iTunes and App Store purchases just by using your thumbprint. And so far it works very well. Also something new under the hood that we couldn't see unless we took the phone apart is the A7 processor. This also does feature the M7 co-processor, which works in tandem with the A7, but I will cover that more in my full review. For now, with my initial impressions, testing out the iPhone 5S, as you can see running Geekbench right here, it nearly doubles the score of the iPhone 5. So there actually is a huge performance difference. Now, in terms of how much all that extra power translates into real world benefits, I'll know a little more in a couple days, but I do plan on having a full comparison of the iPhone 5 and the 5S. So if you're excited for that, let me know by hitting that like button. Also new are improvements to the camera, and yes, it is still eight megapixels, and before you freak out, megapixels do not equal picture quality. What's more important here is the fact that the sensor is now larger, the aperture has been widened, and we now see larger pixels, much like we saw in the HTC One, so low light performance is much improved. There is also dual LED flash, which again, I will cover more in the full review, but from initial impressions with the camera, low light performance is awesome. The iPhone 5S can now also shoot 120 frames per second at 720p, so you can get some ridiculously fun and awesome slow motion shots. And honestly, that was the most fun I've had testing out a feature on a new phone. And here is a quick sneak peek of what you will see in the full review. So that pretty much wraps up this video, just giving you guys a little more extensive look at the color comparisons. So far after a day, I'm kind of leaning towards space gray. I thought I was gonna lean towards gold just because it was new and different, but I generally tend to lean towards black fronts on phones just because you seem to get more submersed into the content. And the subtle change with the space gray from the slate on the iPhone 5, I'm not sure what it is about it, but it just looks really clean and there's something about it that I really dig. Now, if I had to pick a runner-up color, I'd probably lean towards gold just because it's new. Uh, the silver is clean, it's classy, it looks great, but we saw that exact same color on the iPhone 5, so that is probably why it is my least favorite at the moment. Aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to hit that like button. It is much appreciated. And real quickly, before I get out of here, I want to give a special shout out to Squarespace for making this video possible. If you guys aren't aware, Squarespace is probably the simplest and easiest way to get your own website started. They have over 20 20 customizable templates. Pricing starts at just $8 a month and includes a free domain if you sign up for a year. Whether it's on your desktop or on your smartphone or tablet, everything is integrated, taken care of, and it will look good automatically. They also feature an awesome 24-7 support team based out of New York City, so whatever hour of the day or night you need help with your website, they got your back. So if you guys want to try it out yourselves and help out the channel, right now you can get a free trial, no credit card required, and 20% off. Just go to squarespace.com, use the offer code TLD9 at checkout, and you are good to go. So aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for future iPhone 5S and 5C reviews. Again, this is Jonathan with TLD, and I will see you guys later.